I'm now going to show how we can control the color and transparency of imported 3D objects. So I'm going to import a step file, drag and drop from Windows Explorer, and we should find we've got the object imported. When we've got an object imported, we can use Control D to bring up what's called a page debugger. If you've got the selected object, when you look at the data structure, it shows you how it's structured. So in there, we've got a block reference with another block reference. And then finally, within those nested elements, we've got the solid 3D. So I can see there's two levels before we get to the actual 3D elements, which are then made up of vertices, edges, and faces. So the debug is quite a useful way of seeing how this has been imported and what the structure is. So on this one, I'm going to explode, assembly, and explode. I'm going to select it again, assembly, and explode. And then this is the important thing. When I select it, finally, I can go into the properties and I can change the color method to be set by parent. So that's a really important change. When you've got the 3D elements, you select, choose the color method by parent. And now if I right click and go to assembly and choose create component, I'm going to choose a component, choose a reference point, And I can see straight away when it's come in, whatever color and transparency setting I have selected, I've then applied to the symbol. So that's straight away, it's telling me it's worked. If I click on the symbol and change the transparency, set it to zero, it becomes solid again. So now I can control the color and transparency level on the symbol. So the important thing before you create a component is to select it and set the color method by parent.